Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a different kind of video. I'm doing a quick walkthrough on Pat Gaunt's Battle Company's manager. I wanted to get this video out a few weeks ago when the, when it launched. Um, unfortunately though, technical problems have arisen because I don't have a fast laptop. I don't have a fantastic mic on my laptop. So I've been playing with settings, trying to get things to work. I finally managed it, it's done in the books and here is the quick walkthrough come back on my laptop hello there guys and welcome to my laptop screen so this is the Valve Company's manager this is when you go to the website which right here I'll also leave a link of it in the description down below uh, but when you first go to the website this is exactly what it looks like so this is the front page before you even log in or register you can read what it's about um, I'm obviously not going to go through it all so feel free to pause the video at any point, read it, or go to the website. It doesn't cost anything to use the internet, does it? Uh, it's just telling you about things. So as you see, every character has their own card. They can have their own picture. So no more having two models that look almost identical. And you're like, well, is that character A or is it character B? Now it, you have a picture. You can tell the difference. You've got their stats, got their might, will, and fate if they're a hero, war gear, and special rules. And of course you've got the little level bar, which is fantastic. On the battle screen, they slightly change slightly. They've got a plus and what a plus and minus over their might. Obviously, the minus is there because you use it. In some scenarios, you can regain might. I don't know, and might will and fate. Some don't know if any of those are in battle companies, but obviously that's foreshadowing future development. Pat hasn't taught me anything. And then at the bottom, you've got the additional bit of wounds inflicted and wounds remaining. So obviously, wounds inflicted are kills, wounds remaining to you and then you've got water aftermath which is just dealing with your injuries you're leveling up etc etc as i say read the side bits but we're going to log in there we go we're in so now that we're in as you can see i've got my four companies that i've already created um this is in the my company section i can create a new one right there uh, i'll do that in a minute but first thing so we're going to cover this side bit first so got my companies as I said, then got my profiles, so if you click on the my profiles it shows you the profiles that are in there. Um, you've got my armory which shows you all of your weapons, um, mounts, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, you've got my rules, so all your special rules that you want to use or that you use in the game, they are all there. Um, you've got your graveyard, but pretty much what it says it is any dead characters um, You can also delete them. So if you don't want if, if you're particularly close to a character and you don't want to ever revisit them and they died You can delete them out rather than you know having to go see them every day. And then of course you've got account details so You can change your password and all that um, You've got the about information which is just about the, the manager, donations, and then a roadmap to what's coming. So this is stuff that Pat's working on throughout development. It, it is going to continue through development, so it's not. this is not the finished product, but it's at a stage where it can be used by the masses, and Pat wants it to be used by the masses. Yeah, so we are going to start at the My Profile section. So obviously you can see I've got all my profiles there. Uh, you can see that a little bit above the top. That's the races that, from what I can remember, these specific warrior types join. So, obviously, a Mordor Uruk can be recruited into the Mordor, the Seraph Ungal, and the Minas Morgul lines. Um, the warriors of Minas Tirith can be recruited into Minas Tirith, Osgiliath, and Men of the West. Don't think Rangers of Arnor can be recruited into another one. I mean, I could have just named it a Ranger of Gondor and then made it about a million other lines but I chose not to and then you got Warrior of Arnor just Arnor and Warrior of Dead it's just Dead of Dunharrow uh, you can obviously use these in other companies uh, you just have to refresh the page I believe it's been a while since I've had to do that but to create a profile you just click on new profile and then you select faction so what will we create we are going to 
create for fun orc tracker because for the sole reason of my book is open and I can see orc tracker. Orc tracker, there we go. Um, he has a base point of five, so we will increase the points to five. You can also just click and delete and type. I like using the plus and minus, I'm weird like that. Okay, now which companies can we have an orc tracker in? We can have them in Mordor. So you can select one, or if you hold down the control button, some of you probably already know this. So I can't, oh no, we can have it in Silif Ungal for advancements. Minas Morgul, we can have it through advancements. Uh, Isengard, Warg Riders, I don't think Warg Riders. Nope, no Warg Riders, it won't be done then. Oh, Angmar. Angmar can have Orc Trackers. Good to hear it. And as you can see, each time I click on one, it adds it up there as well, which is fantastic. Nope, that's all. Okay, just figured out where they can go. So we go next. Now we're going to enter in the stats for our orc tracker. So they are six, four, three, three, one, one, two. So yeah, you put that in there, it goes there, and it appears over this side as well, which is fantastic. You've got the might, will, and fate, which are right there. All right, you can then add items and mounts. This tracker comes with an orc bow, so let's add a bow. Uh, do I have an orc bow? I do have an orc bow. Uh, I'm not going to cost it though. So normally I'd put in how many points the orc bow would be um, if I was adding it to a warrior on the main page, and I'll show you how, how I'll do that in a minute. But because it's part of his base gear, it's including his points, so I'm not going to cost that, so I'm going to leave that at zero. And there we go, orc bow, it appears there. And then I just go next, so special rules. They don't have any special rules. There we go, and there's my orc tracker. So now if I recruit one in my in my Ravagers thing, I've got the profile ready for it. Awesome. All right, uh, my armory, so yeah, as I said, I use the orc bow. Where is it? Where are you? There you go. So I will create, I'm probably going to need one down the line, so I'm going to create an Uruk bow. Now refresh my memory, Uruk bows are 24 inches I think, oh no they're 18 inches but strength read. So Uruk bow, um, you can switch between item and mount, so it changes which list it's on. Now, if it's an item that gives a characteristic like shield, armor, heavy armor, etc., you can give it the relevant characteristic it gives and then which one it affects. Um, but this is a special attack. So it's a ranged attack and it is strength 3, 18 inches and I purely put that in there just so that you know I'm not looking through books for 20 minutes during a game because I'm like oh how far does a bow go it's supposed to be better than a orc bow does an orc bow go 24 inches or 18 inches oh, I get so confused no I can literally have it it's on my card I can just click on it and go oh there we go it goes 18 inches much better um, my rules pretty much the exact same, but obviously special rules. So let's add terror. Why not? I love terror. I'll probably need that at some point. So I don't put the bulk of the whole special rule in. As you can see, most of these rules, I try and reduce what they say if I can, because I don't want to put 20 lines of text in there with addendums and all that. I just want to be right. This is what they do. So, Terra, make it simple, models that charge, models 
Well, the Chartist model must take courage test. That'll do. And there we go, there's terror. Don't worry about that little line going down, that's just telling you when that little message will disappear. But yeah, as you can see, I've got Shield Wall, Seasoned Archer, Deadly Strength, all of them. Some I've obviously had to put a few lines of text in because, you know, you can't break that down. Whereas this one, I made that say, it was a lot, a lot more little. It's like four or five lines in the book. I made it two. I'm, I'm not putting four or five lines in. No, sorry. But yeah, so let's go create a company. So I do have a company that I am using creation for this video. It's my Arnor Battle Company. As you can see, I've already got some Arnorians in my profile. So let's go create them. So new company. Gerard's Arnorians. Uh, we will select their race. So they are from Arnor, obviously. Uh, logos will be updated eventually. Uh, that's something Pat's working on. So if you've already played games with this, you can add your influence here. So say you started last week and you've just got into using this now and you want to add the uh, start with a company that you've already got going, that's fine. Just add the influence. Or if you can remember how your battles went exactly, let's go through the battle process. There we go. So Jars on Orions, Arnor. We have no rating because we have no warriors. So let's go create a couple warriors. And by couple I mean the whole company. So yeah. I wonder if my picture will actually load quickly this time. So usually when I use my screen recorder, the picture decides not to upload. So you can zoom in, zoom out. I like... I like that. There we go, we'll go with that. He's obviously my leader. Um, I'm not choosing the path yet, I'll choose that later. Um, as you can see, you've got base points which have already been filled because that's in my profile. You've got experience. So again, if you started this company beforehand, you can throw the experience straight in, add everything he has, hunky-dory, um, and same with influence cost. So if this was a character recruited from the reinforcement chart, you'd put down the amount of influence you'd spent on him there. So if you'd spent just three influence on the one roll, you'd put three. If you'd spent four, if you'd had, I don't know, eight influence and decided to up the chart as much as you could because you were at a one and you didn't want to waste that three, and you really wanted that special character, just put it all in. Yeah, my pitch is going to take some time to load, so I'm just going to skip away from that. Okay, we are so not going to upload a picture today. I can go back and upload the pictures later. That's fine, I don't mind that at all. So as you can see, when I click leader, the Mighty Will and Fate adds. Uh, it's not there when it's just a normal warrior. Um, and as you can see, I've loaded the profile, so it's got all his relevant stats. And I mean, yes, you can see there's a five there and it's six there. That's because the shield is already accounted for. Shield spear, as you can see. Special rule, hatred angmar. Injury, so you can add your old battle wounds, leg wounds, arm wounds, whether they're injured, lost in battle, or dead for heroes. There we go. So it's got its breakdown, and you've got the characteristics. So there you go. Shield. On increase. Increase because it's a leader. Right, so I'm just going to go through and do the rest of the company. Okay, and as you can see, for the warrior, the extra bits didn't add. <clears throat> like the might well and fate, which is good because we don't want that heading.
there we go so that is my completed battle company as you can see my rating is now changed up top that is 101 which is correct which is what i've got um if it was wrong and say it said 102 i could go in and i could look at my rating here and see which character had the wrong amount of points and then go in find which one and be like all right let's sort you out but that's the company um, and you can click on the little bits to read what they are so hatred angmar is a plus one to wound against angmar nice and simple a shield give plus one defense obviously i've not put anything on spear so i can't click on spear um that is as simply as put how you create a battle company nice and simple so we are going into battle so I'm going to throw them against my Isengard company, which is 106. So as you can see, that changes. So before it said your opponent will receive. Now because the deficit is to us, it's you receive. But because it's less than 15, we get nothing. There we go. And as you can see, not a lot has changed, but some things have changed. So we've now got a break point. We've now got a quarter point. The start battle is now changed to end battle. Um, and as you can see, we've got the plus and minuses on the heroes for their might, will, and fate. Again, click to check something if you're not sure. And you've got wounds inflicted and remaining wounds. So we're going to do a few wounds. And kill a couple people. So you can go. You can take a wound. You can take a wound, you can take a wound. There we go. We're going to end the battle. This was a win, quite obviously. Um, if you accidentally click the wrong one, so you, say you click win, but you actually lost, you can just move it across. Um, but you've then got bonus influence, bonus level up, bonus experience. So, bonus influence, so when you roll on that chart on the narrative missions, and um, some of them give you d6 influence or plus one influence so you'd obviously roll your d6 for your plus one influence and get a three so you can just three that's nice simple uh, bonus level up so you just select a warrior to level up and that could be from one of those missions like tame the beast so you know when you've got to kill a troll who did who killed the troll Probably justice. He loved either the troll slayer. Bonus experience. So some of them gain extra experience. So you can select which one. And bonus item. So again, you select which warrior got the item. You can either select an item or create a new item. And then you just select all the details for it. And throw it in. I'm not going to create an item though. And then you resolve your injuries. So it goes through the process of all of Wars Aftermath in a nice simple way. So you don't have to keep referring to a book, a piece of paper, a phone, etc. So let's say he gets an old battle wound. He made a full recovery. Codwell is injured. There you go. So we now have experience on all of our people. So Gerard, being the leader, got the most kills and gained, so he can choose a path. So let's put him on the path of the general. And actually, we'll put him on the path of the warrior because I've already got special rules set up. So new special rules, so so I just choose one of his special rules, input the data, and then continue. So so we'll give him parry, why not? He rolled terribly.
There we go. Continue. And then you've got so this is where they gain the experience. So they cause free wounds, they gain from participating and winning. So five, so they leveled up to warrior level two or hero level two. Terrell just gained three because he only got one he only caused one wound. There we go, same for him. And same for him. There we go, and then that updates. So now we can see, so rating level's gone up because we now have a new war, a new hero who's got a point of fame. Um, however, as you can see, there's ones in brackets, the 103. Is minus Codwell because he's unfortunately injured, he misses the next game. Um, Corey could also be missing the next game because he's got his injuries, his old battle wound. But yeah, and then if I so we roll four influence, so say we rolled on the chart, and say we rolled on the chart, and we got a two, which is a Hobbit Archer, so new warrior. Obviously, I don't have a Hobbit Archer, so name. Archer. So, what's base points for Hobbit Archer? But yeah, you can then create it, put it all in there. Um, or, and if you've already got the profile set up, I'm not going to create it. I'm not going to create saddle foot. But yeah, that is. That is that, and you can then rinse and repeat with all the battles you do. Everything will level up. If they die, bless them. They go to the graveyard. So let's kill. Let's kill Burton. Why not? Burton has died. So now, if we go to the graveyard, Burton's there. And as I said, you can delete him. We'll reactivate and we'll put him back where he belongs. But yeah, so that is that. I really love this app. I've been I've oh, been better testing it since it was in Pat's mind since he created the website. It's a fantastic app or web app. Um, one day it may even make app form so you don't have to use it in a browser. Uh, but that's long term. The only thing I haven't covered is that you can delete companies, so I'm not currently using Gerard's Arnorian, so I'm just going to go delete them. So delete buttons there. And obviously, browser, it asks if I'm wanting to do that. Yep, yeah, I'm not going to delete these four though because these are my current companies, so I'm obviously going to be using this in my campaign going forward. Um, I'll also leave a link to the last uh, campaign campaign video in the comment section down uh, in the description down below but yeah comment down below what you think of the app are you using it how do you like it i'll also leave a link to the facebook page that pat has created for the battle companies manager so feel free to go there give him some feedback tell him things you want or don't want to see and i'll see you in the next i'll see you in the post so there you have it guys there's the battle companies manager it's a fantastic uh, tool for battle companies. If any games workshop had come up with something like this, uh, but only the community can come up with something this great. As I said, I was a better tester for it. It's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm going to be using it with the battle companies uh, campaign going forward. So you will see a lot more of it in my videos, hopefully. I might even what, just record it one day. You can just add it on in the side or something. But yeah, links will all be in the description down below. So the links to the Facebook page, link to the actual manager itself, that'll all be in there. Yeah, I highly recommend it if you're doing battle companies and you're frustrated with always having bits of paper lying around. But make sure you hit that like button, share and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.